All right, let's turn that down a little bit. Oh, the song was ending anyway. It took care of itself. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Let me just make it so you can see me. There I am. That was loud. I <laughs> wasn't ready for that. Hello, how are we? First of all, first and foremost, Rage, thank you very much for the resub. The two-month streak. Let's turn that down. That is so unfathomably loud. There we go. Yes, thank you very much for the um, the two-month resub. That's very kind. Thank you. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, a very nice and civilized, civilized start. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I got I got tea and cake. It's nice and civilized. Tea is perfect drinking temperature, and this this cake, um, well, I I cut a slice bigger than I had planned on. Like it's 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 pretty big, but um, I think it's just like a little Madeira cake, sponge and jam, with um white chocolate on top. Mmm. It's very good. <laughs> wait for some, uh... Wait for some more people to arrive. I'm gonna eat the cake while we do so. The music's very loud in my ears. I'm just gonna turn that down a bit. Go and make yourself a cup of tea, Rage. It's a nice Friday lunchtime. Tea and cake. What could be better? And no, it was an accident. Okay. Right, at the start, you put the knife into the middle of the cake to cut it. And then I went down. Where's my face gone? It's in the middle of the screen, isn't it? Here. Do you want it full screen? I, I do I do full screen. Full screen face. How's that? My fake face? Well, the fake, fa the fake face is underneath. Are you telling me you want to see that instead? There you go. There's my fake face. That face? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I'm getting new I'm getting new ones approved. Sorry, I know. I know what that is. I know what that is. I'm getting new emotes approved. With all of the um the artwork update and stuff, I've got some new emotes that are being approved. Which uh hopefully are being approved anyway. I haven't had the email saying that they've been done yet, so I need uh, I need that to come through. But anyway, as I was saying about the cake, so you put the knife into the middle to cut the cake, and then you go down, and then I went in the middle again to cut and complete the next slice, and it started off as a really thin slice. I was like, that'd be ideal, and then as I got to the end, I realised that actually it was a wedge of cake, and it's pretty big. It's a really cute teddy. This is oh, uh, you mean Ted right here? This is the this is the problem of having having my bed in the background. Yeah, this. And this is uh, this is like this was like the teddy I've had since I was born. This is my birth teddy, and he's lasted twenty eight years of absolutely zero damage. Like a little maybe maybe like a little bit of wear, just like on the on the nose there. But otherwise, otherwise he's uh, he's my little my little birth birth bear. Yeah, just leave him like popped up in the back. Um, there we are. How's that? <laughs> right there with all the. Right there with all my shampoo and. Tattoo aftercare cream and all that sort of stuff. Maybe we should just do one of these a week. We'll just do a tea and cake stream. <laughs> Leave it right there. Tattoo is healing wonderfully. I may even be able to get a leg up. And... Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> this is this is why I wasn't necessarily down for getting a webcam because this is what the streams turn into. 
uh, yeah, look, uh, get you got to get the good point. You got to get the dancer's point on there. Look at that. There you go. Oh, this is also a freebie for you know those people <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm hoping that doesn't go against terms of service. Showing a bit of leg. I'm sure it's fine. <clears throat> excuse me. I've got cake in my throat now. Which was always going to be the way, I'm sure. Anyway, that's enough. That's enough fluff chat at the start. Let's let's get some game up and see how we're doing. Thank you very much, uh, Pretzel Rocks. I need for you to stop now. Nice and smooth as always. Big fan of that. Big big fan. And right, switching out to the game, please. Hey, there he is. We got game. Fantastic. So, for anyone out there who may be new to this uh, to this game, this is Marbles on Stream, where we race marbles and you can all join in and play along with us. You get yourself a marble, race to the bottom, first person there is the winner. Easy as that. Um, what was I going to say? I'll do my best to provide commentary in the only way that I know how. Easy as cake. Exactly. It's. I need to rearrange my desk here. I feel like the cake is probably better on the desk here because then it's nice and easier to access and eat. There we go. Um, so, also as well, I believe there's been a brand new update for this game that has introduced some new maps. I have absolutely no idea which ones are new. I'm not sure why one of them, or why some of them are red. So, there's been new, new stuff added. We have battle modes and things like that. We've got the standard races, we can do a royale. And we got a Grand Prix as well for doing several races all at once. So, you mean shove it in your mouth? No, but I've got a fork and everything. We're, we're going to eat cake with dignity. We're going to eat cake with dignity. Today. And I'm not going to shovel it in with my hands. Because I could do. We'll save that. We'll save that for another day. Anyway, how is everyone? How is everyone? I've been doing a lot of talking. And, you know, we're, we're already into the stream. I haven't actually found out how everyone else is. How is everybody? How are we all? Literally just woke up. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Ready for some fun and frantic racing. I can't really remember how this works. This has been a while. Been watching Hell's Kitchen all night. It's a good way to spend an evening. What series? What episode? Who got thrown out? Bear in mind, I don't know anything about seasons and episodes. I only know the people who caused controversy. 17? Who was on that season? Was it a good one? Isn't 17 an All Stars season? I thought so. Note to self, eating on stream is a bad idea. I thought it was. Oh! Community maps. Was this, uh, was this always a thing last time? I guess these are maps that other people have built that we can play as well now. This ought to be quite good. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, so I think I've still got everything set up. Hopefully, uh, what we should be able to do... Yes, use votes. That's what I needed to do. So, in order to vote for maps to play, I believe it's exclamation mark vote and then a number up to 25, I believe. Let's just give it a shot and see. If I vote for 12... 
Hey, 12 comes through. Perfect. Brenda Sounds Steve is the map name, apparently. I haven't got much of an idea what that could entail. Portal's Outrageous Ordeal. Oof. That one, sound, that one sounds like it could be interesting. That one sounds like it could be interesting. I'm also going to pick... Best Aligned Alley? Some of these are pretty high rated ones. What else have we got? The Elimination Rate down the middle. That could be like a real sort of Battle Royale type map. So in light of that, I think we're also we're gonna go for which one's got the highest rate here? It is that one. Oh, it's these two. Magical beaming fantasy. Let's go with that. Cause sure, why not? Let's let's see. Let's see how that goes. Maximum number of players fifteen. We'll leave it as that for now. I don't think we've got fifteen people joining us at the moment. But that, oh my good. God, what is... Can I... How do I move again? I've forgotten all of the controls. For moving. There we go. Right. So, what in... God's green earth is this? Good morning, expensive. With an M. How are you this morning, my friend? Hope you're doing all right. Well, afternoon, whatever it is. Hope you're doing all right today. This is... So I think the patch also added in a load of new obstacles as well. In order to join in with the race, type in exclamation mark play into chat and it should give you a little marble that appears somewhere. How do I get names involved? Both here, there you are. I should uh, I should probably join as well. I can remember how. There we are, I'm there as well. Three of us in for the time being. Oh, it's getting hot again. I thought I'd be okay today, because it's less warm. But no, it's warming up. So, I'm really unsure about what this map's gonna entail. I guess it's just kind of like a straight drop down the bottom. These spinny hammers look decorative, and then a race down to down to there. I don't know. Let's give it a go. We'll see. We'll see. Profanity! Hello there! Good morning or afternoon, whatever time of day it is. Hope you're alright. Hope you're doing well. If you want to join in with the race, you can type in exclamation mark play. Perfect, we're there. I've got like a little tune, some some music played. Was that the game? I've never heard that before. <laughs> oh well. Uh, awesome. Let's. It's a spawn effect. Oh okay. <laughs> I never heard that jingle. Uh, all right. I get. Let's uh. Let's get underway with uh, with our first race of our first race of the Grand Prix. I'm trying to remember all the buttons as well. It's so got the ten second countdown. I'm sure there was a way to. Descend, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, it's not that. Never mind. And they are off. Dropping down. I can't really see much of what's going on here. Just dropping down from somewhere. The first out at the bottom is expensive, followed closely by profanity, and then rage. And I am bringing up the rear. Everyone's got like little trail effects as well. Through the tunnel and onwards and forwards into the rest of the journey profanity is now following thank you very much through the portals nice we got some portal effects now and through the boost ramp expenses is ugh. mark your name's hard to say with an m my friend <laughs> expenses fo following away profanity coming through you got the little burger emote as well right there <laughs> Getting caught on the spinning blade, as is Rach. I've taken the lead. It has been stolen going around the little bit of twisty part through the track. Got some serious catching up to do. But the advantage of all of this is that it is literally anyone's race right down until the very last second. Coming now into a slightly wider portion of the track. 
how much further we got to go. Looks like we're approaching the end. We got a huge cannon here. What does that say? Pop Witch? I think Mark's taken the lead. Expensive has taken the lead from me, slowly zigzagging his way down. What's going to happen next? Oh, it's the staircase. The cannons were purely decorative. We got a staircase to the bottom. Is this going to be Expensive's race or could I snipe it? We could even get Profanity or Rage coming through and stealing it. No, we have our first place. Now we battle for second. I'm in second. Rage bringing up third. And lastly, Profanity getting stuck at the top. Oh no, but making very quick progress down the staircase as we bring out the close of the race. This was Ms. Waffles Portal's Outrageous Ordeal. Good job, Expensive. Good job. Vote now with vote and yes or no for what? How good the map was, I guess? That was pretty alright. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't do anything with that. Never mind. <laughs> Let's check out the results there. So, Expensive wins our, wins our first race, followed up by myself, Rach in third, and Profanity in fourth. First race of four. We will see how things progress in the next map, which is... Brenda Sounds Steve. <laughs> no idea what that could mean for a name, but we shall see. Once again, exclamation mark play to join in with proceedings. Seems this map starts off with a colossal pachinko machine and we've also got a couple of turbines. Good grief! The size of this! Okay. This, uh, this is going to be an interesting one to follow. <laughs> hmm. Alrighty. Well, I'll see what we can do. Who have we got in? We got five races. Fortune 189 has joined. Fantastic. That's all good. Enjoying the lunch break, as are we. I've got tea and cake today. Because it's a Friday. We can be civil on Fridays. But I won't spend too much time eating cake because it stops me from talking. Um, I haven't joined yet. I should join the race. There I am, all the way over there. So, Giant Pachinko, first of all, a couple of turnstiles, and then whatever name we can come up with for this monstrosity. I have no idea anything about that. Never mind, let's give it a go. Let's start off the race. Ten seconds. I think you can join at any time, Have you? if you haven't done so already. What is... Is there a button to go down? I don't know. I feel like there should be. And they're off! Through the pachinko machine. Relatively even pacing to start with. Although it looks like Rach is just about pipping it. Fortune coming on the left. And Expensive's out of the bottom first, followed very closely by everyone else. Who's going to be the first to get through the turnstile? I have been. Everyone else is getting stuck. Leon's going for a ride right over the top, taking the long way around. I'm stuck on a little bit of a spinning stick there. Fortune coming in and trying to snipe the lead. Leon's catching up expensive and profanity. Rage is still stuck in the turnstile. Oh dear lord, no, that's no good. And everyone is getting stuck just here. Fortune has kind of just about snuck through. But appears to be caught in some sort of wind current that's preventing him from moving further forwards. Myself, maybe this part of the track just isn't built on an angle, so it's just a casual roll. Fortune's entering in the giant rotating drum of despair, getting carried all the way around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Um, I'm assuming the rest of it's just decorative, and you just gotta land enough to get whizzed out the other side just like that. He's going down the tube of torment into the quicksand of quandary. Profanity's made it out of the washing machine. Leon as well. Myself, Rach, and Expensive are all still stuck up here. I've made it into the washing machine. There I go. Rach and Expensive are just enjoying a casual rotate. Oh, Rach. Oh, that's slow moving as well. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Meanwhile, going on in first place, we've got a readout for you as well. I want to try and find a way to disable that because I don't really... Oh, and I can't leave you now. I can't leave. You're in second place. Leon is all the way there. I don't want to be bringing up all sorts of information. Sorry about that. I need to try and find a way to disable that. 
Profanity's making it through the drill bit of despair. Leon's storming ahead. Look at him go. This could be his race. Fortune's bringing up second. Profanity in third. Myself and Expensive have made it out of the washing machine. A warrior and are in the quicksand of quandary. Rach is... Still... <laughs> Still... St oh, we're going for another ride. We're going for another... We're going for another ride. <laughs> There we go, wonderful. Leon, have you made it? Oh yeah, I think uh, Leon and Leon and Fortune are there. Profanity's going around the final cog just in the end there. I think third place is safe for you, my friend. Myself bringing up fourth, expensive, making it straight through the quicksand. Uh, oh, Rach. Oh dear, dear. I think, I think either you took yourself out of the race somehow or you've been disqualified for taking too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh I'm assuming you must have come to like a complete rest <laughs> oh dear look at this expensive not too worried about holding <clears throat> excuse me about holding up the rest of the race just taking a casual pace through the end. I like the look of this this track. It's got some real nice looks going on to it. <laughs> and there we go. Absolutely no rush. Well, 40 odd seconds left to beat the map. There he goes. Good job. Nice one, Liam. Liam. <laughs> Sorry. I do apologize. Leon. <laughs> oh, Rage. That was... That was a bad run for you there. <laughs> oh, what a shame. What a shame. I'm wondering, can I turn off the, the pop-up? That didn't happen last time. Music volume's on 100 as well, but there is no music, which is unusual. Um, Yeah, if, it, if there's a way to not have the thing pop up on the side not that it's too much of a too much of a bother i can just pan over to people mr jojo hello good afternoon welcome playing marbles on stream if you wish to join in the race exclamation mark play when we are in and yes face cam this is what i look like this is my real life face as opposed to my my internet face <laughs> hey Profanity spawning in with a little disco flair as well. That's what we like. Disco stew. <laughs> How are we all doing? Played a lot before. Wonderful. Wonderful. We will we will see. I need to I need to join. I always forget to join myself. But here we are. We are in. Wonderful. So this map, we've got ourselves another big old pachinko machine, comes back on itself. We got some bumpy bits, some coat hangers of chaos. We got some more gears and it looks like another staircase as well. So this one could be very interesting. We're playing with a brand new patch as well. So it should mean that uh, there's some brand new obstacles. Leon is now following. Thank you so very much for the follow. I do appreciate that. Make yourself comfortable. And I believe everybody is here, so we'll uh, we'll get the race underway. If I can find the button, there we are. And two, one, go! Dropping down the pachinko, we go. Fortune's making absolutely no. No difficulty. Rage, desperate to redeem herself for the tragedy of the previous run, wastes no time in sniping first place. Everyone's out of the pachinko machine very quickly. Gotta watch out for these little bumps in the road. They can be very, very dangerous. Send you flying off the track. Talking of, we come spinning around the corner. It's a very hotly contested position in first place between Rage and Ben. Zipping around the outside again. Myself and Leon battering around the corner. Mr. Jojo, profanity and expensive, bringing up the rear. It's a close battle across all the major positions here. Rach just snipes lead there from Fortune. Everyone is into the first water wheel and then carried nicely into the second one. This is a very close race. And then straight down the stairs we go. Who's going to win this? 
This is very close indeed. Rage, as we said, is desperate to account for last race's disaster. Fortune bringing up second place, myself in third, Leon in fourth, Mr. Jojo in fifth, Profanity and Expensive bringing up the rear. That was a very close race, very quick indeed. Good job. Very, very well redeemed there, <laughs> considering last time's slow and tragic did not finish. A solid win this time around. Mm. Just a little bit of cake, excuse me. <laughs> Beautiful. What have we got? That's why. Right. Yeah. I've decided. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna have my lunch before I stream next time, just because it takes up too much, too much jaw movement. Profanity is a pretty big. Is a pretty pig. A pretty big streamer. What is a pleasure to have you here? It's a pleasure to have everybody here. Ball needs to do those wall riding things on the other wall side. First to last in three races. Gotta get good. Get good. <laughs> Here we are. So, how's the standings? This was for the previous race, I believe, as opposed to the race overall. So, oh, that's, that's just that screen. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Onwards to Magical Beaming Fantasy, the last race in this Grand Prix. Let's see how we do. Oh, it's another Pachinko Machine. A lot of these matches start with Pachinko Machines. Oh, it's a big wide one as well. Look at these tubes as well. Do we? This, this map's had a lot of effort go into it. Let's just get a spin around. Oh, look at this. I'm loving the cyberpunk city start, and then look at what we got going on down there. Well, we don't want too many spoilers, not too many. We'll see what happens. Just look at this cityscape right here, though. Then we got big mega core building in the background. <laughs> mega core for all your corporate needs, looking after citizens, one person at a time. <laughs> all right are we all here one two three four five six seven i believe that's everybody here so let us see what we can do in this our brand new steam not steam cyberpunk blade runner synthwave cityscape starting off with the pachinko machine and then across some speed platforms at the bottom Everyone's meandering casually for now. I think Profanity's just edging it a little ways. Yeah, Profanity's out first, but no one else is wasting any time in there. Let's see what we've got. Profanity's the only one taking the right-hand track, though. Will that be much of an advantage to them? We will have to wait and see. The tracks look fairly evenly matched at the moment. The only thing is the left-hand side's got more balls running down it. So, we will have to see... Just what happens. Expensive and Mr. Jojo drop out at the end of the track first, followed by Profanity and myself, then Leon, Fortune and Rach bringing up the rear down the funnel. You've got to be careful not to zip out the end, but it looks like everyone's okay through the brick wall of... Uh, actually, everyone is stuck on the brick wall of Byzantine. There we are, we're off. Through the... What would you call those? The floppy logs of... Failure. We've got the pegboards of peril. Gotta be careful. I didn't make it up the tube, but now it's a rotating tube. That'll be why. Everyone's being carted around one. Leon and Expensive are stuck. They've got to wait for the tube to rotate again. There we go. Oh, Profanity got... Profanity got catapulted into the lead! Did you see that? <laughs> he got catapulted by the pegboard of peril straight into the lead. Oh, but he pinged out at the last moment. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, that was a roller coaster. He was doing so well. Sniped first place from out of nowhere and then just, just pipped out at the last moment by a track covering. How unfortunate. Rage bringing up first place though, and 
and it's been secured, followed up by Fortune, everyone else getting kind of hammered about a bit. I skipped over onto the other side of the track. That damaged me, I could have had third place, but then was shafted into fourth by the hammer. Then Leon and Expensive bringing up the rin the rinner. It's because I read chat and saw chicken dinner. <laughs> oh, what a good map. Enjoyed that one. Shame, a shame about profanity being blown out of the water. There, that was, that was unfortunate, but never mind. Never mind, just goes to show, just because you're in the lead, it doesn't mean you can win, and just because you're in last place, it doesn't mean you can't win. All right, that's the end of the first Grand Prix. Let's see who has managed to do what. The results are in, and the winners are... In third place, with however many points, it's... Fortune! In second place, Leon, and in first... Rach retaining her crown. She was a phenomenal racer the last time we played this, and even with a couple of slip-ups and one very embarrassing DNF, still managed to clinch first place. It was a very, very good effort indeed. Oh, nicely done, everyone. Nicely done. Let's return to the main menu. Perseverance is key. Absolutely. Um, let's, let's get another, another load up. We'll, uh, we'll head back into Grand Prix. Let's do another four maps. Feel free to vote for any map you wish, exclamation mark vote, and then the number up to 56. And then we'll get them added in. Do you know what? Maybe let's make it five. There's, there's more people in. So let's, let's make it five and see what, uh, see what we've got. And, uh, I'll, I'll I'll increase the numbers as well. Oh, I, I pressed the wrong button. That's why I'm not allowed to use the number pad, because that happens. And now I've allowed there to be up to 201 players. I don't really want that. <laughs> uh, this game is just luck. It is. There's not much that can be done to affect the physics of the game. It's just passive. you just got to get involved and watch. Uh, so we've got four out of five. Marbles Diner, A Leap to Remember, Scared Straight, and The Space Station. I'm gonna go for... just to fill in the gap, let's go for Pixel's Procedural Pathway. And we will see just what happens. Alright, oh, more neon! I mean, I'm enjoying that, alright. Let's see what else we got. So, yet again, another neon pachinko machine. That's nice. I like that. I like the way that looks. Neon pachinko machine. We've got... Oh, I like these. Disco balls of destiny right there. And look at this! What is this that's been built? This is like something straight out of... This almost looks like it's come out of Vice City. <laughs> Dang. And then plenty more neon fun further down. Look at this. Go inside? Yeah, let's go inside. Let's have a look. Is there a track in here? No, there's no track, but look! <laughs> Who's that? Is that Northern Lion? No. Looks like it could have been, though. <laughs> Look at the jukebox. Marbles Boogle. Marbles Boogie, sorry. It's raining marbles. Play that funky marble. Marble Inferno. Oh, yes, it's Marbles Night. I'm assuming that these are all... These are all the songs they're supposed to be. Oh, you're the Marbles Queen. Marble Machine? What could that be? The only thing I can think of is Love Machine by Girls Aloud, but I don't think it's that. I'm a marble machine. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then what else we got? Marble Wonderland. The Marble Hustle. <laughs> Matt. 
macho, macho marble. You should be marbling. Yes, we should be, actually. Fly, marble, fly. Do you want a marble? Oh, well, do you? Do you want a marble? <laughs> oh, the attention to detail in here is incredible. Oh, look at it. This is so cool. This is probably the best looking map we've ever been on. Anyway, anyway, let's uh, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Are we all here? How many have we got? Seven people in? That feels that feels about right where we were last time. If anyone else wants to join in, exclamation mark play, and we will be there. The actual song of that queen one you were singing, I had to sing at school. What dancing queen? Really? Ooh. I don't know. Abba, Abba's got like a special place in in my heart, right? I'm not I'm not like a massive fan of Abba, but we used to have these big like family barbecues once a year. My uh, stepnan and granddad would hold these barbecues, and the whole family, the whole extended family, would be invited. They would always be themed, so it would always be like a dress up sort of thing. It would be Cowboys and Indians, or movie night, uh, circus. Uh, there was a massive pie fight at that barbecue as well, actually. But we'd always do something like that. And whenever I think of ABBA, I always think of those parties because there would always be several like ABBA tracks that played throughout the night. Um, I think my stepman's a massive ABBA fan as well. So ABBA's got a special place in my heart. I'm not a massive fan, but they, they occupy a place in my heart. I don't know if I have a favourite song, though. Can't think of what many of them are now. What, hap what happened to you with the Dr... I don't know. Do I want to hear what happened to you with the Dr Pepper? <laughs> yes, I'm kind of intrigued. I'm kind of intrigued. Let's, uh, let's get the map started, and then uh, we, we shall see. All right. Ten seconds before the start of our neon adventure. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> and they're off! And Rate is wasting no time. Fortune's sliding in through the side there, but Mr. Jojo has gone straight for the bottom, wasting absolutely zero time through the purple slide and onto the disco balls of destiny. Rage is not... Oh, she has fallen for it! And Profanity stuck in the same one, but just being tickled out at the end there. We got Mr. Jojo, Fortune Expensive, and myself all coming in through there. As well as Leon being caught in the disco ball as well. It's very easy to do. And here we go. We take a little roadside trip through the diner. Profanity and Rach just hugging the wall right there. Everyone else stuck taking a leisurely stroll. Maybe stopping at the drive through for something to eat, potentially. Everyone's just just chilling by the diner. And why wouldn't you just look at it? You would definitely spend a little bit of time casually examining that. But then our race leader, Rach, moves on to the purple tunnel. And that is not a euphemism in any way. Profanity's coming through. Is Profanity going to snipe first? They do! Rach getting caught on a bounce is having first just taken away down the stairs. Down the stairs and onwards and forwards, we've got ourselves a neon pinwheel at the other end of the tunnel that Profanity's going to have to make his way through. It looks like they're stuck on something in there, but we won't quite know what that is. Rage coming in through second. Everyone else here, look at me bringing up the rear. A nice, slow, casual stroll. Fortune's making his way down the stairs now. Expensive. Unsure whether to proceed, but needs to make a decision quick as Mr. Jojo and Leon are coming through, as am I. Is this going to be the position changer? It's all... It's not changed whatsoever. And everyone has made it past the pinwheel and through the funnels. There we go. There goes Profanity. Look at that. Fortune and Rage having a battle for second and third. Profanity is now down to the super hexagon part of the map. Let's see what Fortune and Rage do. Bounced off of the pinball machine and into the neon funnel, not even hitting the sides. And then Profanity zipped out the other side right there. Expensive coming around now, as is Leon and Mr. Jojo. I've been held up. I'm stuck on. I don't know what. Getting caught on the pinwheel. Hopefully I can catch up, although I really doubt it at this stage. There goes Profanity into 
and out of the final obstacle. Absolutely no issues there. Fortune and Rage. Mr. Jojo has been punted out. Oh no. What an unfortunate way to go. Rage making it over the pegboards of peril. There we go. And Leon's gone as well. Oh no. What a disaster. What an absolute disaster. Expensive coming through. And myself hitting up the super hexagon. And then hopefully I can make it before time runs out. I don't want the embarrassment of a DNF, but it seems that I'm stuck here. All I want to do is make it forwards. This could be the one. Sliding around the walls there. That's the way to do it. Oh, like a pro. Just not as fast. And there we go. I have been saved. I haven't been pinged out. So it just looks like a straight shot to the finish. Ba boom We are there. Ooh, what a race. What a race indeed. Let me just catch up on chat here. I've missed some stuff. Stream was frozen and won't stop. Stream's frozen? Is it? I haven't lost anything. I don't appear to have dropped any frames. Oh, let, let let me know. Let me know if stuff's uh, if stuff does change. But um, everything seems to be fine on my end. But we shall see. Anyways, here we are, race numero two. Profanity. I love like the spawning jingle. <laughs> <laughs> It always catches me a little bit off guard, but I do just like the din 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 din. Beautiful. What are we dealing with this time? We got ourselves a much more, uh, what's the word I'd use? Much more mobile pachinko machine, I guess. A couple of twisty tubes and a, ooh, this looks dangerous. This looks like we could lose a couple of people here. We could lose some people here. We'll have to be wary. We'll have to be very wary indeed. All right. Anyone else wishing, wishing, wishing to join? Please do so. Exclamation mark play. Just gonna hang fire and take another piece of cake. Because it is very, very good. <laughs> It's also likely to be my lunch for the day. All right. Where are we? Six out of seven. Who are we? Who's not entered? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if uh, if not on this occasion. That's fine. Oh, we're missing Jojo. Jojo, did you want to join in on this race? There we are. There we are. There we are. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's get going. I wish there was a button to just go down, and that's not the button. I've got spacebar to go up, and that's it. <laughs> I've got to look down and walk and like press W to go down. Never mind. Look at this, everyone's going through. Leon's just wasting no time. Straight out there. Look at that go. Look at that. First to beat it, followed by myself in second. Then we got Mr. Jojo coming around in third. And Profanity in fourth. Rage, Fortune and Expensive bringing up the rear through the macaroni spinny tubes of... Need an alliterative word for them. Malice. The macaronis of Malice. Let's go with that. And then we have ourselves a grand old launcher. Let's see if we can make it. Who's going to be the first? I think it's Leon, followed by me. Slow motion mode. How are we going to do? Oh, Leon makes it. I do as well. And profanity there. Here comes Mr. Jojo and Rach. Are they going to make it? Looks pretty good to me. They're both in nice and safe. Who are we waiting for? Fortune and Expensive, the final two. 
Can they make it? There goes Fortune. He's managed it and expensive as well. Perfect. Nicely done. Jojo's taken the lead, but it looks like Leon may be about to snipe it back. He does. Oh, there goes expensive. He's been knocked out. Oh, dear. What a calamity. The race is now between Rach and Leon for first. Profanity's gone as well. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Gotta watch out on this windy track because it looks like there's some of those propulsing pegboards that could send you flying. However, some people haven't even needed the assistance of that. I'm stuck all the way at the back there on another one of those spinning plates. They seem to hold everyone up, those. Fortune and Mr. Jojo battling around for fourth and third right there. Leon and Rage coming, excuse me, coming around and near to the end of the track here. We want to be careful because it looks like there's a way to accidentally drop off the bottom of the track right there. Those pegboards, you've got to be careful. They can send you flying at a moment's notice. Will we see an expulsion? Not for Rage, we won't. It looks like a sure victory for her. Leon and Mr. Jojo battling it out for second and third. Fortune is stuck. And here am I. Am I going to snipe fourth? This could be the comeback of the century for me. Leon's braving the pegboards. Will he be propelled? No, they've made it right there as well. Mr. Jojo and Fortune are just hanging around in the same place. I drop in as well. And there we go. We've nicked third place. No pun intended. Off I go go across the pegboard am i gonna pay for stealing third place by being shot out into the sky possibly mr jojo's coming through is he gonna steal it or oh, not quite he just needs to hold on a little bit for fourth place he's done it and then here comes fortune as well the final the final ball to make it here we are you get the slow-mo shot into the finishing cup there you go <laughs> uh, good effort good effort uh, what cake do I have it's a uh, it's like so it's just um, it's just a basic like Madeira cake so you got your sponge and like raspberry jam and then this is kind of like a white chocolate uh, like white chocolate sprinkles and a sort of white chocolate icing underneath it as well I think it had like little, it's got like little raspberry ball bits on it. You probably can't really see it, but like little raspberry bits in the, um, in the crust and stuff as well. Mmm. It's very good. <laughs> very good. Ooh. All right. Bad luck for profanity and expensive right there. Bad luck indeed. But, good effort to everyone else. Good effort indeed. Onwards to the next one. I feel like we've played this one before, maybe. Oh, maybe we haven't. <laughs> I don't recognize this. Maybe we haven't. Maybe we haven't. How are we doing? How many people have I got in? We got six. Perfect. What, for, uh, for my cake? There won't be no cake. There won't be no cake. It'll all be gone. It'll be a wasted journey. Uh, cool. And we're gonna go in but a moment's notice. It is very good. It is very nice. The thing was, right, so I got home from work the other night at like 1am and it was just sat on the kitchen side I was like oh, that cake looks really 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 good but I didn't know whose it was or why it was there so I had to leave it and then um, then I came back uh, and, I, and this is, today is the first time I've actually managed to catch my parents and go 
is this cake like free to eat? Because <laughs> it's just been in the fridge for days because I haven't been able to catch up and find out whether or not I could actually eat the cake. Because my real life job is shift work and my uh, my family do office work. So they do nine to five and I do silly shifts. So our paths never cross. Now you can smell cake. There are worse things to be able to smell though. There are worse things to be able to smell. <clears throat> Throat clear and go! Down the pachinko machine. I'm not sure why people start higher than everyone else. That feels like a bit of an unfair start. But it's okay. They're not letting anything like that stop them though. Everyone is just pinging through this with absolutely no effort whatsoever. Onwards and forwards. Down the ramp we go, dodging the pegboards of peril, but these spinning blades could be dangerous. However, everyone's made it through nicely, dodging around the traffic cones of torment. Be careful of this spinning drum. We don't want anyone to fall out too early and lose their chances of victory, which could very, very, very easily happen. Profanity appears to be stuck, but is making it through slowly. You've got to watch out for these ridges. They could cause problems. Further onwards, everyone goes, look out for that speed ramp. You don't want to get catapulted out of the cat. Out of the cat? Catapulted out of the track! <laughs> Here we go, through the pegboards. Leon, Mr. Jojo and Rach are battling for third place right now. With myself and Fortune for fourth and fifth. Expensive and profanity just bringing up the rear there. Maybe one of them will be able to snipe first place in a last ditch attempt. Round and round they go. Who's going to be the first one to come out? It's Leon! These spinning plates in the middle here have been tricky for some. They can keep you held here for a long, long time if you catch them incorrectly. As Leon has, Rach was about to beat it and then she fluffed it at the last minute by just throwing herself off the edge of the track. Fortune very nearly doing the same, but he holds it together nicely and then steals first place. Off he goes. This could be a straight run to the finish as long as he doesn't get catapulted out by the pegs. Profanity coming in as well, straight from the rear. Now in second place. Expensive in third tack. Myself in fourth. Oh, Expensive nearly blasted away from the track, but he held it together and is now in second place. Profanity in third, myself in fourth. Leon and Mr. Jojo just spinning round round like a record baby. Right round 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 until one of them makes it out. And it's Mr. Jojo, he's on the pegboards, descending to the finish line. Will he make it or will they get blasted out? Time will tell. Careful, easily does it, don't lose it now. It's close, Leon's coming in. Oh, it was a close contest right there. Could have gone either way there towards the end. <laughs> Uh, it was unbelievable, what a jump. That That's exactly it with this game. You can just get from nowhere to the front in such a phenomenal leap. You don't even see it coming. Oh, you got to shoot? Not a problem. Thank you for, thank you for dropping by. Um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Have fun at work. I'll, uh... I won't be in today. I said I was going to come in, but I won't be. Have fun, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, I presume, later on. I don't know. Thanks, bud. Catch you later. Let's move onwards to the next race, the space station. Grab a bite to eat in the diner. You may even see a familiar face. We definitely saw some faces when we went to the diner. Have we played the... I think we've played the space station before. I remember this one being pretty cool. I think we did anyway. Oh, that was a solid lump of icing. Oh my goodness. Like, a solid lump of icing is fantastic, but when you're not ready for it, that sweetness can really, really get in. <laughs> I look so happy. It's because I've got cake. I don't know the last time I had cake. I had pancakes for breakfast yesterday. Mwah! Beautiful.
We were, I was just uh, I was at work, and then spotted one of the chefs. And there's a, what are you making? And uh, hey, what? Oh no, disregard. So I got surprised because in the top right corner I saw uh, I saw Iron Shet's name, and I was like, hey, he's one of my he's one of my followers. Like, what's the, what's that? And then that's probably because he won last time, and that's his best time. Whereas Aqua Girl is probably like the global best time, and Iron Chet's probably the local community best time. Uh, anyway, yeah. So one of the chefs at work, I was like, "So, uh, what are you cooking?" He said, "I'm making pancakes." You're making some for everyone, right? So he did. Welcome back, Mister Jojo. Welcome back. Um. So yeah, so you're making some for everybody. So he made pancakes for everyone. Came to me and was like, "What uh, what do you want on your pancakes? Maple syrup? We've got maple syrup. Bacon? He was like, I can do you some bacon. So I had I had like four pancakes. I made like a bacon sandwich out of the two pancakes. Covered it in maple syrup. Covered the other two in maple syrup. Oh, such a good breakfast. I had such a good morning yesterday because of that. It was so so good. I I only like I ate all four, but after two of them, I I felt pretty full. After two pancakes, I was full, but I'd made the pancake sandwich with bacon. I was like, I've got to suffer through it now, and it was delicious. I already know that was Chris. Wrong. It was King. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, here we go. All in. Oh, ask Astrid, I'm sorry, I'm just a fraction too late. More than welcome to join in with the next one, though. Stick around till the end, and um, more than welcome to join in with the next race. Pancakes aren't cakes, but they are good. Yeah, I, th I, I wouldn't necessarily call them cakes either, I don't think, but as you say, they are good. And it becomes a it becomes a moot point <laughs> beyond that beyond that pancakes are delicious that's it that's all you need to know <laughs> anyway here we are we're out of the the spinny funnel of destiny and despair who's onwards mr jojo is straight ahead zipping down way ahead of iron Shet as well this could be a best time for you and even for the community here you could shoot straight ahead I'll be bringing up the rear. We've got Fortune in second and Leon in third. Rach in fourth place. Onwards. Look at you, Mr. Jojo. You are holding up for nobody. Fortune in second. Leon and Rach and myself. How did Iron Shet set a best time for this? Just look at him. It's lagging. However, this could be... Oh, that was how he did it. Maybe he just zipped through the, uh, zipped through the bar right here without any kind of hold up. That's probably what happened. Let's see how things are going. Here he is. Look, yeah, Iron Shet's just storming ahead. Fortune in first. Rach and Mr. Jojo battling for second and third. Then Leon and myself all the way up the back there. Oh, well, there's no point, no point worrying about me anymore. I, I'm more or less out of the race for the time being. Fortune, Rach and Mr. Jojo still the battle for third. We could have an overtake of Iron Shet here with the periscope of perusal. Up they come. Got to make it down the spiral, and then it's just a straight shot to the finish, more or less. Here comes Leon in fourth. Now's the chance to overtake. Will it be seized? Fortune's off, as is Rach, and there goes Mr. Jojo as well. Keep up, you can do it, I believe. Down the tunnel we go. Look at oh, look at me all the way back there. Leon still there. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Just push. Find that extra energy. And this could be the turning point as everyone gets stuck on these plates. But Fortune's made it. Mr. Jojo and Rach are stuck. This is Rach's nemesis, but she's through. Mr. Jojo and Leon, has Mr. Jojo lost third place? Here I come as well. Could this be where I reclaim it all? I doubt it, but we shall see. Mr. Jojo's taken third. I'm in fourth and Leon's been caught. Oh, no. However, it can still all change. It still can. Fortune's overtaken Iron Shet for best time. 
Is this going to be a winner for him? Could be. There we are. I think the finish is just down there. It's this last little bit. Fortune is well on the way. The ghost of Iron Shep from our previous run is struggling to catch up. In Rach is in second place. Myself and Mr. Jojo battling out for third and fourth. Leon just getting caught up at the pegs over there. Oh, dearie me. And Fortune and the Ghost of Ironshirt are now really duking it out. This is truly two battles of the ages right here. Fortune versus Ironshirt. Rach versus Mr. Jojo for second and third right there. I'm zigzagging along for fourth. Leon could catch up right here. And there we go, it's a shot to the finish. Who's gonna who's gonna do it? Who is ahead? It's so so close. Oh, is is Fortune gonna get the best time? Oh, just a couple of seconds out. Iron Shet pips you. Unfortunate. Rach in second place. Mr. Jojo in third. Presumably. Is it gonna change? Oh, that's so so close that was pretty much the dead heat and then leon here he come last bit you can do it my friend onwards and forwards you've got this there we go Whew. Ooh, there we go let me uh let me catch up catch up on chat again king's deep fried brownies Woof. Ask Astrid, I have time to prepare my bounce. King's deep fried brownies were incredible. Again, the same chef at work, he just battered a chocolate brownie straight into the deep fryer. Oh my goodness. It's so good, but you can feel yourself. You can feel your arteries thickening as you take it with every single bite. I made blueberry pancakes on stream yesterday. That is good. That is good. Uh, pancakes have the magic ability to turn them into whipped cream and chocolate. Hmm. That sounds good. Oh, I just love pancakes. I just love pancakes so much. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I am intrigued to see who landed the third place between me and Jojo. Who was that? Oh, you got it by what? What is that? by two tenths of a second is that that was so so close so close indeed you just just pipped me you just pipped me oh good job all right time for the last race in this grand prix pixels procedural whatever that was i can't remember i didn't catch it pixels procedural pathway Um, where's the map? Oh, here we are. Oh, okay. This one just looks like a completely flat one. Hmm. All right. Très intrigued. So we got ourselves a rolling start through a horizontal pachinko machine. We don't often get one of those. And then loads of tubes. What's the, what's the winning tube here? Which one do you reckon we need? To get to the middle to save the most time... You want to be aiming for the middle hole. If you can make it down the center of the pachinko machine, then you could be in for a very good start. Loads of uh, loads of spins and turns. We've got another super hexagon mode right there. Some more rickety roads. All sorts of fun and games. Relatively short, though. We'll see how this one transpires. Here we go. Are we all... In six of us, I believe so. Myself, Astrid, Rage, Jojo, and Fortune and Leon. I think, yeah, I think we're here. In which case, let us start the race. Astrid, I'm gonna die. I can feel it in my butt. <laughs> it is anyone's race, and it always is. Down we go. It's a slow rolling start for everybody. But is anyone going to get the advantage? Astrid is doing well at the start. Keeping to the middle. Remember, that's the tube that will take you out into the central point down below. 
Rach is looking like the first. No, Fortune's the first out of the pachinko machine. But Rach has taken the funnel first. Fortune and Leon taking the same one. Astrid changes her mind at the last minute. Oh, Astrid goes for that one. Am I going to take the... I'm going to take the middle. That's the smart money. However, I am the last to go through. So it may not be that smart at all. We shall see exactly what happens. Onwards and forwards. Everyone's still holding up. Fortune may have been one of the first out of the Pachinko machine, but is bringing up the rear. With myself and Mr. Jojo, Astrid, Leon and Rach are proceeding along. And Rach is into the super hexagon. I am aware it's not a hexagon. But it's called Super Hexagon because this is a video game by Terry Kavanagh called Super Hexagon, which looks exactly like this. Would well recommend giving the game a check out. Never played it, but it looks... It looks great. And it also looks very difficult. And it has a great soundtrack. As does Terry Kavanagh's other game, VVVVVVV. Phenomenal game. Anyway, oh, Mr. Jojo's gone! He's been catapulted way out. Let's take a moment of slow motion. Goodbye, my friend. The pegboards were your undoing. That leaves Astrid. Oh, Fortune's been knocked out too, I just noticed. I must have missed that. My apologies. <laughs> That's my Chris Camara moment. Astrid's currently bringing up the rear. It's a battle between first and second for Rach and Leon. I'm in third. Is the position going to change as we move into the final part here? Over another bit of the uneven road. I'm just casually meandering back and forth. Astrid's taking the opportunity to come in and overtake. It looks like Leon's clinched victory. They have. Followed by Rach. And that's between myself and Astrid in third and fourth. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Good finish. Nice. Good job, everybody. Good job. <laughs> it all changed when the Tac Nation attacked. <laughs> Oof, that was the that was the last race, so now we're uh, now we're moving on to the podium. We will see who has clinched the victory for the Grand Prix. In third place is Profanity with the jingle. In second place is Rach and in first place Fortune! That's two podium finishes each for Rach and Fortune doing very well. And also Rach and Fortune sounds like a double act. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Very nicely done. Back to the main menu. Oh, the best double act you've ever seen. Fortune, got a shoot? Have a good one? All right, not a problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hope your seminar went well. And um, I hope that your work is proceeding well. Right. Ah, uh, you want to you wanna redeem a joke? Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back. I'm going to go back to the joke book. All right, here we go. Um, one second. We're going to 2001, a joke odyssey. All right. Now, I'm going to flick to a page. We're going to go for a random joke. We're going to go for this one right here. It's a Doctor Doctor joke. Everyone's favourite. Here we are. I quite like this one, actually. <laughs> not the one about gnomes. No, it's not going to be the one about gnomes. Right. Doctor Doctor, I think I'm shrinking. You'll just have to be a little patient. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, the old jokes are the best. 
Uh, let's uh, let's get Grand Prix again. Let's go for the community maps again. Let's play one of these. So again, let's go for let's go for four maps. Feel free to cast your votes. Exclamation mark vote and then a number up to the value of twenty five. And we will go for another run. It's going stale now. <laughs> it's been out in my room for so long. So long. Like, it's been out and in my room for how long we've we been going? Just over an hour. Beautiful Ascension Adventure. That's a great name. Is the joke the person streaming? Ooh. Oh. Oh, he got me. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. oh that hurt. It's all right. I can take it. I got a thick skin. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Oh, you didn't hear it. Oh, okay. I'll I'll tell you it again then. Okay. Everyone who did hear it, get ready, you get to hear it again, aren't you lucky? So, it's a doctor doctor joke, okay? Doctor doctor, I think I'm shrinking! Well, you'll just have to be a little patient. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Here we go again with a joke. <laughs> uh. Brenda sounds Steve. Oh no, we've played that one. I don't want to vote for that one. Can I... Uh, we, we, we've already played Brenda sounds Steve. I'm going to go for Sweet Secret Stream instead. <laughs> Would have gone in less than a minute if you'd had it. It's... Uh, I mean, exactly the same, but I've been multitasking. <laughs> All right. You just make let's make this a let's make this a three map one. Let's go for three. Oh, I think uh, I think I changed it just um, just as you voted. Never mind. Oh, it's another neon map. Me favorite. Don't have a thick skin. You only have bones like jets. Uh, these these are not jet bones. These are these are barely bones. I mean, I'm skinny as anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one. This one. This one's garish. This one's just solid neon. It's and it's a lot of solid neon. Oh dear me. Dear me. All right. Let's see what we can do. Are we all here? Wheels, my greatest nemesis. Um, who are we missing? Is Astrid still here? Does Astrid want to join in? Give it a couple of minutes. Ooh. All of a sudden, just need to... Floof the hair for power. Give me good fortune in this race. Now that the actual fortune isn't here anymore, I need some need some good luck. Some good fortune. <laughs> Alright. Why? Next door's dog, go away. <laughs> oh. 
That cake is a few seconds. Big cakes is a minute. <laughs> I do like cake. I do like cake. Red velvet cake is the best. Go bang on the fence again. I'm not going to leave the stream to bang on the fence. Because I'll be gone for like five minutes and the Twitch ad breaks are only one minute long and I can't do five of them in a row. You'll all leave. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's jump in. That's some thick bones. <laughs> and they're off! Relatively slowly, but they're off nonetheless. Down everybody goes. No one getting caught on those first shelves right there. Everyone's got to make it through the pachinko now. A weird texture. It's like flowing lava. Isn't this... Haven't we played this map, but now just... It's a different colour? We played something very similar to this a moment ago. Oh, well, never mind. Mr. Jojo has taken the lead. He's in first place. Myself and Leon dropping out the bottom of the funnel. Rach is still stuck at the top of the pachinko funnels right there. Got a bit of catching up to do, Mr. Jojo. Jumping into the neon funnel of near -felutionous... Is that a word? Not really. Never mind. The neon tumble dryer. Playing home to myself and Jojo. I zip out the other side though. Caught on a pegboard though. Didn't even see that. Mr. Jojo using me as a bumper to snipe the lead away and then up a periscope of perusal and on with the course. How's everybody else doing? Where is everybody else? There we are. Leon coming in third. Rage bringing up the rear. She's going to take exactly the same periscope and it's a downwards journey out the other side. We've got ourselves another funnel to fall down. Lots of pegs here and only a few gaps to fall through. This could be where everything changes. But Mr. Jojo just zips on through. It don't even matter to him. Look at that. Oh, but he's suffering for it. Pegged out. He's still on the track. Oh, no, he's bounced out. Oh. That was a disaster followed by a great recovery, followed by another unfortunate disaster. Pinged out at the last second. Such a shame. Who's going to win this one now? Leon takes on first place and is into the washing machine of woe. I'm coming in for second. Rach is still stuck all the way at the top here. Desperately trying to get ahead. You've got to watch out for those pegboards. You don't want to go the same way. Off we go. Ooh, excuse me. That's also why I'm not going to eat cake on stream. Who will be the first out of the washing machine? It looks like a toss-up between myself and Leon currently. But Rach is getting pinged about. She could snipe first. She's coming through. Just hanging around right there. But Leon's made it out. Now it's just Rach and I casually swinging at the bottom. Rach has done it! She's escaped the madness, as have I, around a spiral and then this really garish neon water wheel, which Leon is going to waste no time in circumventing. There he goes, over the top, nice one. Rach is now going to join, but it's Rach's nemesis. The new official name for this obstacle. <laughs> Here I come in third over the washing wheel right there. And there we are just tickled ever so slightly, but she made it through and I come in and, and make it look easy. Nice and simple. Leon is now into the final pinwheel. That dog though, can you hear that? Leon and I are sharing a pallet right there. Oh, Leon's just zipped straight through, attacking myself. This could be it. Whoa. What a close finish. That was a close finish right there. <laughs> Oof. I don't think it's good for someone's bones to be that big or round at that size. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oof. Just why? Just why? You know what it is? He normally goes out and barks whenever... Whose dog is that? That's That belongs to next door. That belongs to next door. It barks like that fairly regularly. When the postman delivers the post. When the family go out. Which is fairly frequently. Um, When it's 2am. 
when it's 3 a.m., when it's 4 a.m., it's barked when it's 1 a.m., when I'm streaming, when I'm recording YouTube videos, when the day of the weekend's in a Y, all that sort of thing. <laughs> Honestly, it's so infuriating. Sounds like a little dog. It, it's not a. It's not a chihuahua. It's not a chihuahua. It's um, the really irritating thing is that there's a small alleyway in their garden that goes between our houses, and that is where it chooses to bark, which is literally right behind that wall. So whenever it barks, it is literally right outside my bedroom window, pretty much. So I, I get the worst of it. And the thing is as well, right, is that it's not even a nice bark. I mean, barks aren't generally nice anyway, but it's not like a... That's not a woof, that bark. But every time that thing barks, it sounds like it's being trodden on. It sounds like it's being crushed under someone's foot. Can you imagine hearing that at 2 a.m.? Bear in mind, as I said earlier, I do shift work. I get in at 1 a.m. I've gotten half an hour of sleep and then that noise. It's miserable. Told you before, at least it's not foxes. This is true. I did get home the other night, actually, and find that foxes had emptied out our food recycling all over the front garden. I'm gonna... I'm gonna need to shut the window. It will do virtually nothing. But I can't be putting up with that much longer. <sighs> Dang it. You've got an idiot on your street and this fire alarm goes off for no reason. I used to live near someone where that happened. I don't know what it is. It just got a nervous a nervous alarm. <laughs> I don't know why. I um where I used to live it had there was a fire there was a house and its burglar alarm went off. It rang for a whole day once. It was like just really so annoying because I had videos to make and stuff. Like, I, I get it's probably not the dog's fault, like, the, own, the owners just leave it. And then it gets nervous and it's upset and it just wants attention and all that sort of thing. But at the same time, like, just turn the TV on like everyone else does. Or the radio, just get the, how, get the dog house trained and then turn the TV on. That's all you need to do. Where are we? Uh, okay, so I think the plan will be let's do these last couple races for this Grand Prix and then we may call it a stream just because it doesn't sound like he's going to let up and I don't really want to carry on with him making that noise in the back. Here we go, pachinko machine. It just means I'm going to have to talk louder and much quicker as well in my commentator voice just so that... I can make sure I can be heard over it. Have we played this one? We, oh, we have played this one as well. Brenda's Sound Steve's. Uh, which is this big old... I love the colour scheme of this map, actually. The gold and the green, I absolutely love. And, whoa! Three of us have dropped out right away. St steady on. Rach's nemesis holding Rach, Leon and myself prisoner. But then in comes Mr. Jojo. Is he going to get locked up here too? One way to find out. Stay tuned. Rach's nemesis is... Keeping everyone occupied. Was this the one, Rach, where you got DNF'd because you got stuck? <laughs> Was that it? Quite possibly. But it's absolutely no drama this time. Rach has overcome her nemesis and is into the giant washing machine of woe. Being bandied about like it was no thing. Mr. Jojo joining in the washing machine. Myself and Leon getting stuck on the nemesis. This is going to be... A tough clincher. 
But she's out. Oh no, it's Mr. Jojo who's made it. Rach is still stuck in the washing machine. Mr. Jojo now hitting up the quicksand of quandary. Doesn't even bother with the track. He just skips it. He just jumps over the wall. Look at that. He hasn't got any time to be hanging about. Mr. Jojo has a point to prove and he's dang well gonna prove it. Out of the Archimedean screw and onwards down into the... What even are those? The scouring pads of success, quite possibly, maybe? Rage has made it out as well. She's into the quicksand and through into the screw. Leon now stuck in the washing machine. And there's me, look. Oh, we're going to have to come up with a different name. This is Tax Nemesis now. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, never mind me, I guess. Let's go and see what everyone else is up to. Oh, we can't. The camera's stuck. Let's see what everyone else is up to. Mr. Jojo's straight through the scouring pads of success and into the final water wheel. This is Mr. Jojo's race to lose. There it goes. Rage coming in for second and Leon on in third place. I'm going to get DNF'd because I'm all the way up there. Rage on the water wheel. <laughs> Fantastic. There's Leon now coming out of the screw. I'm still stuck. Let's go and have a little look-see and see what this is all about. Oh, look, you get absorbed by the wall, I think. If you take too long after someone's finished, then you get absorbed by the wall. Oh, there we go. I get, I got, I got, got. <laughs> so that's what it is. That's how it regulates it. You've got this big old blue wall that just travels along the track. And that is what decides that you're too far behind to finish. So come on, Leon, the wall's catching up. Don't lose it now. Here he comes. There we go. Into the final scouring pad of success. Nicely done. Ooh. Nervous dog. He was just sitting outside. Never went on the grass and was terrified of grass. Fine, fine now, but scared of water. I think a lot of dogs are scared of water. Well, no, I guess they're not scared of water as such, but I can see why. We, um, one of my next door neighbours had a little King Charles Spaniel that would go around and eat grass, and it would eat grass until it made itself sick, and then it would throw it all back up. <laughs> the more you know. Ooh, look at this one. First of all, I want to say, what a beautiful skybox. Just look at this little... I mean, where is this? This is like a Venetian square or something like that. Uh, welcome to the historic city of Barcelona. Or something that, something like that. <laughs> Thanks for the lovely story. Oh, dear me. All right, where are we? So here's our starting position right here. Exclamation mark play to join. And then let's get a look at the track. We've got a giant funnel to get all the way down, first of all. And I've gotten the camera lost. Here we are, we're out. <laughs> a giant funnel. We've got a little washboard right there, a split path that looks fairly evenly stretched up some periscopes. We've got a portal that leads you onto more split paths, or the track actually continues with some speed up points and all sorts of fun and shenanigans here. This one may be difficult to keep track of if we have too many races, but I am up to the challenge. Um, we, we're, we're not missing Leon, Mr. Mr. Mrs. Other Leon. I, I'm really bad with pronouns, so if I if I do get them wrong, please do correct me, and um, I'll do my best to to learn and remember. Are you joining us, Leon? Shut the dang dog up! I might go and throw the rest of the cake at it. Come on, Joe Ball, let's get a back to back win. <laughs> Joe Ball, drag a ball, spread your wings and fly. Bring it on, Rage, them's a fighting words. Jojo's ready. He wants the dub. Can he get it? This 
is the decider. We will see. Um, I'm gonna start the race. <coughs> Excuse me. In three, two, one, ten, nine, eight. Forgot about that countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! And they are off in the decider. Everyone gets caught on the speed trap and it is down. Down the funnel. It's tough to call right now, however, it seems Rach is probably in the lead as she seems to be closer to the centre. However, it's not how close to the centre you are, it's how quickly you make it through the centre. Everyone's just skirting the edge for the time being. See, Rach is just skimming around the edge. It doesn't matter how close you are, you've just got to drop through it quickly. Onwards and forth. Rach has been... Rach has made it through. She's there. Now it's myself and Jojo dropping through as well. Onwards and forwards. Rach has chosen to take the portal route, as have I, and Mr. Jojo as well. Everyone's going to the portal way. No one's too interested in the speed trap way, which is absolutely fine. We can let everyone go through the portal and we'll meet them right here at the top of the next track. Is tank? I always thought it was, was tank. I, either or. I, I respond to more or less anything. <laughs> it's all close enough. So Rach has come out of the portal and taken the left hand track which takes her onto a water wheel and an arched nemesis. Can she do it? Jojo following Rach desperately going for gold there. He's going to take it right the way down. To the point where he's even going to choose the same track. Will this be a benefit or a curse? One way to find out. He's sniped the lead. He's taken the lead. I'm just casually doing the same thing on the other track by myself. But this is definitely a two horse race. We'll focus in right here. Mr. Jojo and Rach. Who's going to win? There's me. Don't worry about me. I'm just happy in last place. Let's see how this goes down the staircase both of them go it is so close between the two of you it's so hotly contested rach and jojo Ooh, getting stuck on the bendy pillars watch out for this it's so narrow don't fall off jojo manages it here comes rach i'm overtaken oh dear jojo clinches victory myself in second and rach relegated to third Oh, no! <laughs> oh, what a close final race. Look at that. Who knew? Who knew indeed? Oof, right in the feels. <laughs> All right. Don't count myself out. <laughs> no, apparently not. We've said it many a time, just because you start first doesn't mean you win, just because you're in last doesn't mean you can't. Let's finish the Grand Prix, let's see who our champion is of this Grand Prix. In third place is Leon, in second is Rage, and in first is Jojo! <laughs> Good job. Nicely done. Nicely done indeed. Ah, oh, good job, everybody. Good job indeed. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Let's, um, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna wrap it up. It's going to wrap it up for today just because I can't trust next door's dog anymore. Um, so yeah, that's going to wrap up the marbles on stream stream for today. I, I've had a blast. I enjoy these streams so much. Literal swings and roundabouts. I enjoy these streams so much. These, um, not only the marble racing ones right here, but the uh, the interactive ones. These kind of back and forth ones that you guys get to play along with as well. I have such a good time on them, so it's been a really good afternoon. Apart from the dang dog! 
But other than that, um, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, for the additional follows as well. That's very kind. Thank you. Just took a quick screenshot because <laughs> it'll never happen again. You never know. You never know. Um, yes, for the additional follows, very much appreciated. Profanity, Leon, thank you very much. Uh, Rach, for the two-month sub, again, thank you. Um, and I'll see you all hopefully a little bit later. Should be back later on this evening around eight o'clock with Rayman. Uh, once fortune left, so did luck. <laughs> Too true. Yes, it should be back later on this evening with Rayman, so if anyone is about, then feel free to come and join. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you at some point next week. When are my days off next week? I'll let you know what we got on. Um... Of course, cool, so possibly Wednesday and Thursday next week. We might have something going down. Um, but I'll let you know another time. Rayman later on if you're about. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Should we, should we have a look? Should we see if anyone's streaming? Let's, uh, let's just sort out a raid nice and quick. Let's see if there's anyone we can help out. Yay! We can do we can do a raid. Wonderful. Uh, so we're gonna be going over to good friend of the channel, Jacoby Gaming, who is currently playing Animal Crossing. However, I can't remember how to launch a raid. <laughs> Here we go. He's he's found it. He's done it. Uh, raid. There we are. Let's go. So, Jacoby Gaming for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Once again, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. Have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever. Bye!